I'm Cody. And I'm Ellen. And this is Auburn, our school bus. Uh, and you guys lived in this for how long? <laughs> uh, we lived in it for a little over two months. Two months? Continuously. Okay, and what time of year was that when you were living in it? It was the summertime. Summertime? Yeah. Okay, but you got it decked out with the wood stove, right? Yeah. <laughs> so four for, seasons. Set up for winter. Cool. For sure. And you guys are selling this, correct? Yep. Okay, what's well, that? We're interested in selling it. You're interested in selling it? <laughs> okay, cool. Well, why don't we go check out the inside and see how you guys built it out? Yeah. Welcome to Home Sweet Home. <laughs> well, this is the Auburn school bus. Um, we built it up to live in it and lived in it for only a few months before we decided to buy a house. Mm -hmm. But it's set up for four season living with this tiny wood stove and a shower and closet, bed, bed slash couch and extra seating for your friends. This is awesome. Kitchen. So what type of wood stove is that? Is that the Cubic Mini? Yep. yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I've got some friends that use that too. Yeah, it works great. Yeah, those are those are really, really awesome. And you know, a lot of people, I always tell people, I'm like, you, yeah. you wanna you wanna go with like the wood heat. Yeah. You don't want to go with propane because the propane is is so there's so much moisture and it can cause mold and all that stuff and mm -hmm. so the wood heat is definitely the way to go and then also cooking over it is so much fun yeah definitely. <laughs> i get in trouble with that though in the winter time because like over the wood stove like on the top there i'll put my dutch oven and i, I cook cinnamon rolls and cookies all winter long and it's just <laughs> my first winter i gained 27 pounds <laughs> which i don't I, that's a lot for me um so a lot of people see the little stove and they think that you know that there's no way that that could heat this entire bus and actually these little stoves are rated to heat about 200 square feet and inside the bus the floor plan is about 100 115 square feet um, not including all of, like the closets and everything that's encroaching in so it's more than sufficient to heat this space Uh, oh, it's your couch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Well, yeah, so um, we had, when we were living in the bus, we had it parked out at my boss's house, which is at Hartman Rocks, um, which for those of you that aren't familiar with Gunnison, Hartman, Hartman Rocks is um, a recreational area with about, I don't know, 100 miles of trail or something like that. There's a lot of trails. So if you're a mountain biker, it's kind of a mecca. Um, so we had the bus parked right out there and it was backed up to a pasture um, with the back deck facing this giant cow green grazing beautiful river going through it and everything. Uh, so yeah we'd wake up in the morning, uh, make breakfast in our kitchen, um, two of us would go to work and come back go for a bike ride at Hartman's, then um, take a shower and sit on our back deck with a beer or wine for the rest of the night. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> the fact that you guys have a deck on here is, is stellar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's so great too because our, our evenings here are so pleasant. You know, being out there in the summertime and just having your own deck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's pretty stellar. What, what, what made you think about that, putting the deck on the back just... <laughs> That's a good story. Uh, it's just looking around on Instagram for some inspiration. Um, I can't remember. I think it's called like Willbillies or something. Yeah, I think There's so. The Instagram couple that's Will built Billies. a couple buses actually. Uh -huh. um, and it's just this crazy picture of them backed up on this cliffside over the ocean. And they have a shorter bus and it's a smaller deck, but they're still able to stand on it. Uh -huh. And yeah, have like a chair and sit out there. Um, yeah, I kind of saw that picture and um, I was driving around delivering for FedEx when I was still working for them up in Crested Butte and there's a, a new um, storage unit building that they built up there recently. Uh -huh. There's a pile of I-beams laying out for probably six months or so and I kind of like started getting these ideas and I finally just grabbed two of them threw them in the back of the FedEx truck and took them home. <laughs> nice. And it wasn't too long after that that we got them welded on to the frame. Nice. 
of the bus. Yeah, and, um, one of our uh, friends, yes. one of our friends, Marcus, welded it on. Cool. And, and Brent was there too. So this is our Goal Zero um, battery bank. Um, it's connected to 100 watts of uh, solar panels on the roof. Um, this is the Goal Zero 400, which means it's 400 watt hours. Um, so if you had something that was pulling 100 watts, you could power that device for four hours, basically. That's what that means. Um, and so you have two AC plugs and then two USB, you've got your cigarette, 12 volt uh, lighter port there. And you can chain these um, to another battery bank. So then you can double, triple, quadruple, you know. That's awesome. Unlimited potential. I, I, didn't realize you could, I didn't realize you could daisy chain those. Yeah. Another yep. one would fit right there. Yep, and this, we built this little box up. Oh, nice. So, so, so it's like an expandable battery yeah. area. So if somebody wants to have more, you can chain another one together in there. Oh, very cool. Um, and basically, it's kind of like a, basically like a golf cart battery in here. And if you ever used up the entire life of the battery, you can just open up this lid, a replacement battery is somewhere around a hundred bucks, and then you're good to go. Right on. How, how long does it take to charge with that panel? Um, like if you were at zero and say you're in full sun, I remember, I think it's around two hours for a full charge, but I have to double check that. Okay. And that's all on Goal Zero website. Cool. And and the the Boulder is it the Boulder 100 panel or is it? Um, so it's two of the 50 panels. The okay. Boulder 50s, but they're linked together, um, and so they'll fold up. Um, but that whole frame has been mounted to the roof. Sweet. Yeah. And yeah, when it's full sun. Um, the solar panels will charge this faster than it'll charge off the wall in your house. That's nice. So yeah, those are pretty efficient panels. Yeah. I've got I've got some questions about your water water tank up here. So what what is this and and did you make this yourself and everything? Yep. about here oh, okay so when you have the wood stove going and the beds like here you can put your butt right up to it. <laughs> let's so, get the toasty buns uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's great though your bed slides right out to it because that way if mm -hmm. it's super cold you can like put your feet down there or whatever and just kind of yeah kind of angle it in that regard yeah we can we can slide it out too okay get it over this let's lift it up tricky but. so that's nice so what does that make like what size of a bed is that a queen to full. full yeah okay cool So I like all the different places to put stuff, like all the shelving. Yeah, this is a secret door. Oh, it is? Oh, sweet. You can put your weed in there. <laughs> <laughs> if you're into that sort of thing. We all are here in Colorado. Uh -huh. This is great. You guys have a ton of storage. Yeah. 